What is up guys, back with yet another opening today. I got one of the Wave 2, I guess, or 3, I don't know what, what these are. It's just the second wave of these 5 packs, 4 packs, whatever you want to call them. I call them 4 packs because you get a gear piece instead of a 5th figure. But hey, I'm glad the next, I think the Armored, not Armored, sorry, Fusion Force big boxes have 6 figures. But I don't know if they're going to be more or 30. If they're still 30... That is probably the best you'll ever. Six Bakugan for 30 bucks. It's about five bucks a Bakugan. Then you get all the cores and cards too. And um, yeah, let's open this up and see what we get. I am uh, uh, was hoping for the Chaos Enoch and the Ventus Alcor just because, why not? And I was going to trade the he uh, Chaos Enoch to Raw because he wanted it. But um, this is the only one I had, but still, eh, picked it up. Made good tips today at work, so why not? And uh, yeah, uh, on the Walmart website... There is the new Bakugan Fusion Force Ultras, and there is Fusion Force uh, three packs on Amazon, which is really cool. We did order all the Ultras off the Walmart, all six of them. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a diamond as well, uh, but of course it wasn't on there. But yeah, I think me and Raw each ordered one three pack, and of course the diamond on Amazon is from Cuckoo Toys with for a lot of money. Uh, I believe it's like Diamond Hawk or Ultra, and then the two minis are uh Trotsaurus uh, Fusion and then whatever the other one is because I can't remember but stay tuned for all those awesome videos there's been a lot of news lately uh the new Bakugan game I'm pretty excited for it not gonna lie mostly for the figure because that paint on it looks very cool but we might as well we might stream it actually more than likely because we do have the necessary equipment for that for our switches and we all have a Nintendo Switch by the way so more than likely we'll each get a copy of the game so we'll probably be doing also some multiplayer online bra bra uh, brawls because, because why not? Um, oh, okay. I thought those usually just thrown in here. Um, let me cut these out real quick. Sorry, I was talking a lot. There's just been a lot of stuff revealed lately, and I'm excited for it. <laughs> you know what's funny? The Bakugan game actually has a release date, unlike the figures. Got them. I know. It's pretty bad. But hey, at least we're getting a game, because the players asked for it. And it's more... I, I wish it was going to be turn-based combat, but it's too early to have an opinion yet, since I haven't, I've seen some gameplay, but... It looks like it's based heavily on the show, running around, picking up cores, and boosting up your body gun. Uh, neat concept. I guess it just depends, uh, especially since I never played the original game on Wii. But apparently they're bringing back Leonidas. Um, I believe I remember seeing the picture. It looked really cool. So I can't wait to see that. I, I have a feeling that it won't be made into a figure, unfortunately, but it's coming in the game. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. And um, yeet. Let's close these up first. Sorry. I, I do hate that only one of them in here is translucent, just the Trox and not the Pegatrix. Um, I really wish the Darkest Ramparian in the pack was translucent. That would have been awesome, but unfortunately, it's the other one that comes in, the Aquas Batrix. All right, and Hodurus does have a reprint in here, and he does have a reprint in the Gold Ramparian 3 pack, which I haven't bought yet because it's probably bad. Um, Hydra's pretty good. All the cards are actually kind of warped a bit. Uh, don't know how that happened. Maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe tight packaging. Maybe the tape was on too tight or maybe just been in the heat somehow. Uh, Centipod. That's new. Uh, Pyroshox Ultra. And Darkest Pegatrix Ultra. Oh, those stats aren't bad. Of course, they're not amazing, but hey, why not? Pyro Cannon. Dark Daggers. Hail Breeze is still good. Bucket Thruster. Um, eh, cards. Uh, especially since this is technically an older wave. I just haven't bought it. We actually finally got them in stores in our area. Uh, apparently, we just didn't get them, but we were getting everything else. Pretty pretty funny, not going to lie. Uh, let's... Oh, the core, sorry. I think we do have some reductions in here for gear. So hopefully we got a good red fist. So I need more. All right. It is minus 100, minus 3. Uh, plus 250, minus 1. Plus 300, minus 1. Again, there's no point in the 250. You might as well do this. Plus 2 damage. Ooh, they're stuck. Ah, that hurts. Oof. Okay. Pyro's Darkest plus four. We did get it. Plus 200, plus three, minus two gear. Love it. And a plus two, minus two. Thank you. Awesome. These are these are very good cores. These two especially. Uh, the 300's arguably pretty good, but a lot of people are, I've been seeing playing the two plus 200 minus two for the reduction, but hey, I, I'm i not a, a bad... Or what's the word? I'm not disappointed with these cores because three of them... Which other reductions were really good. I believe the Ramparian pack comes with like three amazing ones as well. So, yeah. I don't know about the other one. It probably has some good ones too. But we're already seeing the cores be rolled out. So let's just do those. 
Okay. I'll only roll them again because I know some hydruses in the world from the single packs, which I've seen. Sometimes either they're sleepy or don't close right. Oops. This one opens up nice. Okay, double core pretty nice. Let's see how far up this has to be. Uh, mm, it's all right. The usual. Sorry if I'm doing this a bit fast. I'm not going to lie. I have the oven <laughs> preheated for a pizza because I just got it working. I'm hungry because they don't feed us. We just work like slaves. That opened up really clean. I wish Cetapod didn't have the spring up like that. I wish it could go down. It can double core easier because I think it can, but it's probably very rare. But I do like the way the Cetapod opens and looks. I should have left Hydra's open, right? Because I can. And I move the scissors over there before I cut myself because I'm stupid. But, um... Yeah, I kind of just want to see the game and how it turns out. That opened up nicely. Very, very clean open. That was probably the... Let me, let me do this again. I don't know why. That was very satisfying to see the darkest Pegatrix just open up like that. Oops. All right. Oof. It fell. You know what? That first flip was still pretty satisfying. Speaking of flips, do you guys like that Maximus flip deck? Uh, I have a friend who's uh, upgrading it and testing it, and it's undefeated right now when we tested it. And then the regular version. I, I just I just want to play it again. We'll see how it goes. I don't think he's lost the battle yet. I need to I need to brawl him. Might get a nice. Oh, oh no way! That was awesome. The Mick double guys. Which way was he oriented? That was was that backwards by accident? I thought I had it forwards. If that was back. Oh yeah, I think Trox backwards can double core either like that or he does like a long jump. Because uh, he's good. Let's try that again. I think that might have been backwards. I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure that was forward. Okay. I think that was forward. He just didn't uh, fully pop correctly out and just fell, which was fine. But let's do a backwards one real quick. Okay. Let's try it one more time. It looked like he almost fell. Very close. This translucent Pyrus looks very, very nice. It's such a dark red. Oh, bad roll. Not rolling from the, you know, the good roll distance. Or just <laughs> good at all. When was, I'm, not, I'm not a good roller. I'm not good like everyone else in the world. Ew, never mind. That was backwards, but I think you can hold it sometimes. I think it just depends on your speed or accuracy on how you grab the core from what angle. It might, might have to be dead center. Or you could just say no. Okay, well, hope you guys liked this video. Sorry, it was like a quick video, but uh, so I have no pack. I'm pretty sure you've seen this open already, but if not, what are your thoughts on it? Hydrus is a good reprint, not gonna lie, especially if your first one was kind of iffy from the single pack because I've heard bad things, and mine is sleepy sometimes. He still catches the core though, but it's sleepy, and it's kind of irritating to not see it pop open, especially since it's a 1500 six damage good Hydrus. And um, not gonna lie, the Centipod looks awesome in Chaos. It looks really, really cool. I like this, is probably my favorite core. This and Auxilitar because they look like Ultras. I wish Auxilitar had foldable legs because then he'd probably stand up really nice. But unfortunately, I don't think we're getting an Ultra Auxilitar. But hey, you never know. Spin Master could make one. Uh, I really want to see an Ultra because the core just looks like an Ultra. It just needs legs and maybe some arm movement. But I love it. But what do you guys think about this pack? Uh, again, if you just buy it, those cores are pretty good. The Fire Fist, the Green Fist, and one of the... Not that one. Not that one. The Orange Shields are pretty good. So, hey, good cores. I know a lot of people try to get the cheaper packs for cores, but... If you're just investing for different ones in the long run, you might as well try to grab a three pack or sorry, four pack for the cores because they're not that bad. Usually, I think there's some other ones. I think uh, the Pyrus Pegatrix Darkest Trox, the flip version from the first wave, has these, but it might be a 202. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure if not, it has the plus 50, plus one, minus two. So either way, they're really good. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more awesome content. Stay tuned for those Fusion Bakken being opened. We should have them by probably next week, maybe earlier. And stay tuned for the three packs of the Fusion Baka Gun Open. I really can't wait for those. Um, I know distribution is not the best thing in the world, but hey. <sighs> gotta, gotta find them somewhere. I don't know, they're just fun. Either way, um, hopefully all that stuff gets better once all this stupid stuff in the world clears up. And I can't wait to see more product. And, and I want that video game just for the figure. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But we will probably stream it. No promises. But hey. Thanks for watching as always. See you on the next one.